Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to be doing a small tutorial for you guys. This is something that I feel like some of you guys out there need, and including myself, this is something that I've tried to clean up and taken care of, but I think it hasn't really done the job as much as I would like it to, or maybe I just haven't spent enough time doing it. I've noticed a lot of you guys uh, happen to have shiny steering wheels, and maybe you bought the car and figured that that's how it came like, or I've seen some that are super shiny, which kind of just looks like you just rub some baby oil all over it, just got done eating a bucket of chicken, you name it, whatever you want, want to say, that's how your steering wheel looks like. And it's really not that appealing. But like I said, if you guys like it, then just go ahead and leave it like that. But the original finish on the steering wheel, it's supposed to be matte. And you guys can see I have a little shine on mine. And like I was saying, it's supposed to be a full matte finish. I've seen how some of the brand new cars look like. And this isn't it. So I had read up on a couple weeks ago that baby wipes, that baby wipes are actually good to clean the, um, the greasiness or the shine out of your steering wheel. So let's go ahead and uh, make a quick trip to Walmart and uh, we'll come back and uh, get back to work. All right guys, so we're back in the same spot and I have my uh, baby wipes over here. I ended up, as you guys saw, I think they were $2 or a dollar something. So they're very inexpensive. And I think from my understanding, you're supposed to go through a lot of these. So it doesn't really matter. Like I said, it's cheap to, uh, to use them. I ended up going with the uh, No Scent. I think it says um, alcohol free and um, yeah, so fragrance and alcohol free. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and clean the whole steering wheel. And then I'm going to uh, apply a coat of uh, leather conditioner after, which I'll show you guys what I'm using once I'm done with this. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get started. I'm gonna set the camera down and just do a time lapse of it because there's really no, I mean, there's not much to it. It's just simple, scrub the whole steering wheel and we'll see how it looks. All right, guys, I don't think I actually showed you guys a good example of how the steering wheel looked like. But before I finish this up, uh, I do want to show you guys. See, you guys can tell that it's really shiny right there. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Versus this part over here where I was actually scrubbing it at. So you can tell both shades. Um, this is how my entire, entire steering wheel looked like for the most part. And the thing is, whenever I drive... I happen to hold the steering wheel right here and obviously a lot of us does just do a lot of us do because of the uh, the paddles every now and then I'll grab it up here and then you got the bottom piece down here so I'll tend to drive like this which you guys know I mean we're not here to correct our driving style but if you guys look at this one you can tell it looks a lot better over here right so this is how the steering wheel is supposed to look like. It's supposed to have a matte finish and obviously I still need to go back and redo it. You guys can see over here that I've been through a few wipes already. So we just go ahead and leave those on the floor. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, finish up. And honestly, I'm loving the way this is turning out. Like, you know, this is something I've been wanting to do and I've just kind of been putting it off. But man, I'm, I just, I don't know why I haven't really been doing this a lot sooner, so. Let me go ahead and finish up. Uh, here's another look on how the uh, steering wheel looks like, how shiny it is. And once I'm done, then I'll show you guys the uh, the actual difference. All right, guys, so I just got done cleaning the steering wheel and I have to say, this is a must. If your steering wheel is even a little bit shiny, go grab yourself some wipes and clean it up because I tried using a leather cleaner before and even though it did take off some of the dirt, it was still shiny and this actually made it a little bit easier. Um, I spent about the same time that I no normally spend cleaning my steering wheel with the other product and it does not do the job quite as well as the uh, baby wipes. And it's like $2 for the baby wipes. So um, definitely do it. Go grab yourself one. Let me go ahead and I'll show you guys the, uh, the results. Bam. Now if you guys notice, this is where the part was extra shiny. 
and now it's all the same uh, matte color. Even it, it still has a bit of a shine, but I think that's just the, with the uh, the way the light's hitting. But I can definitely tell that you know it's a lot more of a matte finish, maybe more of a satin I would say versus you know glossy. So this looks way better. I have some dust on over here, but. Yeah guys, this is definitely a must. Clean your greasy <laughs> steering wheel. <laughs> um, yeah, so clean that up guys. Let me know what you guys think. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. So I'm gonna be giving the steering wheel a coat of this, the leather conditioner, just to kind of add a little protective um, coating on top of it. And I think I'm gonna be cleaning the steering wheel every now and then, uh, maybe every two weeks, every three weeks, just give it a quick wipe. Uh, because I don't drive the car too much, but I do want to keep this satin finish so it doesn't really take me that long next time. But I'm going to be using this um, just to add a protective spray on the microfiber and rub it in and let it sit. And eventually it's going to get back to its regular finish. I mean, it's going to stay like this. It's not going to get shiny or anything. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. You don't have to apply the um, conditioner, the leather conditioner to the car if you don't have this. Well, to the steering wheel if you don't have one. You can always go back and get do it, you know, get it later, apply it later. Um, it's up to you. I would just recommend to go ahead and apply it uh, just in case. I mean, it'll add another extra layer of protective uh, protection. That way, if you don't have your windshield tinted or if you park your car out in the sun, obviously you want to protect it from the sun. Like I said, if this video helped you guys, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, if you're new to the channel, I go by L. And uh, yeah, hit the subscribe button wherever it's at. And I'll see you guys in the next one.